Um, we, yeah, my presentation was focused on uh, uh, a couple of chromatographies with all the virus clearance or uh, log reduction factors that have been generated from both uh, chromatography. Um, uh, we found that uh, it's, uh, it's a case-to-case -case different among the chromatography steps, among uh, products from one product to another. Um, ion exchange chromatography, as expected, showed the best result. Uh, on removing especially uh, enveloped viruses uh, with a good removal of uh, uh, MVM. Um, and interestingly, we show the difference when we change the binding mode of uh, the ion exchange chromatography from flow through to binding uh, that a little bit uh, reduce the uh, efficiently of the chromatography or ion exchange chromatography. But it apparently that flow through modes uh, show better removal uh, compared to the other chromatography where uh, conditions, pH, uh, conductivity, uh, purity of the product play the major role here in removing of the virus. Yeah, as we saw, Membrane Absorber is the a newer um, addition to the uh, chromatography uh, steps. Uh, you expect to see similar results, but the data so far show that ion exchange still top of a membrane absorber with a much better clearance. Uh, through a CRL data, we saw that 77% of uh, the four uh, viruses uh, on the exams that we show in that presentation uh, were uh, cleared for uh, log reduction or above. Uh, while in a membrane absorber, we have like 30% uh, some uh, percentage of those runs uh, were removed at a for uh, high capacity. So uh, it's still um, uh, under investigation since the fewer run of membrane absorber been tested so far. Uh, it's been used now frequently more frequently than usual uh, or than being used a few years ago. Um, uh, we believe that it's the, that the membrane reached the capacity to the limit where uh, the virus start to break through and cause the problems. The slides that we show in uh, fractions uh, product show that the later fraction were the worst, where you can see the breakthrough after the, uh, the membrane were being loaded with the virus or uh, the uh, pressure were increased on the membrane caused the breakthrough. Uh, our recommendation of maximum uh, uh, virus clearance is a tricky question because uh, it depends on uh, how many steps you are running and what's your target to achieve. Um, uh, you might achieve uh, 14 log reduction from two steps or you might achieve the 15 log in three steps. Uh, the, f the first uh, option you have seven log and a half for each one while the other will be five. Uh, we believe that you have a moderate log reduction. You go with the three uh, uh, steps as accumulation of log, re log reduction, and you, it's mere, more um, uh, easy to achieve, and you have all these steps already in your manufacturer, and you don't have to go uh, the extra step to get the seven or higher log reduction to achieve your target. So um, it, it's... It, Try your best on your uh, uh, chromatography. You don't have to get the, the highest thing, um, log you, you want from each step. You might accumulate them through more steps, but you can achieve that target easier than the try to get it on from few few steps. Um, Interestingly, FDA uh, don't have uh, a recommendation or a target, a minimum target for virus clearance, except one uh, guideline for the ICHQ5 showing that uh, for a retrovirus, MULB virus, uh, the predicted contamination is like a million particle per ml, and they added a uh, log of eight uh, as um, a risk assessment to uh, virus clearance. So that will be a total of uh, uh, 10 to the power of 14 as to remove MULV. But in regard to other viruses, there is no uh, a certain number. Uh, some European guidelines show that 
get four log reduction per step is a good uh, achievement uh, for viruses. Um, uh, blood product material, uh, guideline, uh, WHO and other uh, blood product uh, guidelines saying uh, that you might achieve six logs per step and as a total of maybe 12 log reduction for all uh, the two steps that you used, you may achieve them with the three, but the recommendation with uh, a six log per, per, uh, per step for blood product. Uh, but uh, to have a specific answer, no, FDA don't have a specific a minimum clearance for uh, viruses. Um, because of the nature of the virus, it's hard to get uh, all the viruses being cleaned or cleared at the same uh, level in a certain specific uh, chromatography uh, step. Uh, when you start doing your R&D work, start with the worst case scenario. Start with MVM, as I show in my results or my database, MVM was the worst case uh, among all viruses in most of the chromatography. If you try to address MVM and try to get a log reduction uh, factor uh, within the steps that you are testing, I believe that you might achieve a good reduction for the rest of the virus. So start with the worst when you uh, uh, perform or you optimize your condition and uh, highly likely you get a better uh, result for the other viruses. But again, uh, viruses are different and what can bind uh, enveloped viruses easier to attach uh, to hydrophobic uh, resin, for example, because of their nature being um, uh, stealing cell line, cell membrane from uh, host, which has a fall of hydrophobicity uh, residue. You don't see that in uh, non-enveloped virus, so that's about some challenge with some chromatography. But again, uh, recommendation is to start with the worst case scenario as in VM. If you modify that, optimize it, you might get a better result for the rest of the viruses.